today we've come to the glamping show so we are literally going to show you everything we see and hopefully we'll have a brilliant day i'm hoping that we should see a whole load of things that we've never seen before and get some ideas for ourselves for the future yeah so let's go so if you don't get it already open air business magazine is brilliant it will give you loads of different um, information about different structures so they've got a stand here they're giving away free magazines at the moment and then there's an offer on um so it's 36 pounds for the year to get the magazine or you can get it for 28 pounds um if you've been to the glamping show but i better not give you the code <laughs> so um so yeah thank you to team open air business hey good to see you guys <laughs> So this is domesdirect.co.uk who have these clear domes. Are they are they all clear? All the domes that you've got? Or do you have well, any kind of We can print direct onto the panels. Oh okay. So it's up to you what what you want on it really. Okay. They do come clear. Yeah, what's the biggest you can go to? Just, just the one size. Just one size. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And you reckon that this is strong enough that I can hit it with a hammer and it's not gonna break? Some bigger guys have hit it already this morning. <laughs> can I go for it? Yeah. Alright, see if we can get you fit for night, Brian. <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. <laughs> you basically made everybody jump then. Does it need any ventilation or? Yeah, we've got um, stainless steel air vents for drawing in cool air. Okay. With a, what we call a top hat on the top. Yeah. To expel all the heat. Okay. Um, oh, you've extra, actually got an air, air conditioning. Unit, yeah. So. Wow. Okay. Aquaforno. So, are you guys sort of pizza ovens, or are you? you can any style of outdoor cooking. One of these will do it. Right. Really? So Amazing. It's originally designed so that it will simultaneously, from one heat source, allow you to dry your clothes on the hangers. Ah, oh, genius. Keep you in boiling water a litre every six to ten minutes. Wow. Keep you warm and cook anything that you cook in a kitchen at home. So, um, started off as a pizza oven, and we'll cook you after the fifteen to twenty minutes to heat up. We'll cook your pizza in around three minutes. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Um, Amazing. I don't see anything like it. No. So how much is one of these, roughly? So, uh, at retail, um, stainless steel ones work out at £500. One's for £450. Um, handmade in Dudley in the West Midlands. Uh, Amazing. So these are en suite on site, so they do um, off-grid shower and toilets basically. So uh, Brian's in the shower, it is quite a roomy shower. And there's your uh, composting loo. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh man, these are fire bowls. Yeah. I would love that, like actually love that. But it's a bit impractical for kids to be toasting marshmallows. Also, it's only 450. 450. Excuse event hire. Hang on, event hire. Two full days. That's that's hiring it. Oh, Ryan. it's hiring, not buying. No, hiring, ah. hiring it. These are nice. Look at that. Yeah, no, I've seen those before. We can't afford any of these. No, I don't think so. But that is amazing. I mean, look at the artwork that's going. Into look at Harry, Harry Potter. Oh my goodness, and a golden snitch. The snitch. The, the... And the stag. Dobby is there. This is literally the most exciting fireball I've ever seen in my life. And a bowl. Oh, it's a hole of Hogwarts. Um, and there's, there's Voldemort. And the Phoenix. Oh man, I'm in love with the fireball. So this is where we are. Fire pits. Wfirepits.co.uk. It looks like you can pretty much have anything you like. In the, in the shape of a fireball. So we're at Landpod now. When we first came to the glamping show, Landpod had quite a small, just one tiny pod. They've now massively expanded their range and got a whole Landpod glamping village. So this is, um, I think this is the bigger one. So you can see inside, basically it's got a bed and a little sofa, which I guess you could fold up with the kids. Um, really funky. It's quite clever, isn't it? And little tiny nice. door and the fact that you can roll up the sides. I'm not sure I'd fit in with those. I'm not sure you'd fit, no, possibly not. The alfresco pod. So this is just for your dining. So you can just, this is pretty funky. Come and sit down and eat dinner. Then they've got their own toilets now. You can have your composting toilet in here and, it's, and a shower, which is pretty funky. This is like, this is the Woodland Lodge. Oh, 
Oh, you can actually kind of comfortably sit in here and there's a bed here and we've got another bed under there for the kids. I mean, kids would absolutely love this. I like this. the fact that you can open the sides. Yeah, that's and clever. And the fact they've got a mezzanine level. How cool is that? Yeah, you could, you could fit a family of four in here. Except I would bang my head every time I got up. You might bang your head, true, true. But you've got a little bit of seating and if you've also got the toilet out there and the um, and the dining room, we've got the whole set up then, which is quite cool. And they've got a sauna now. Wowzers. So, um, yeah. Whole land pod sauna. And your fridge bomb looks good. Fridge, is it? Oh, there's a lot. Oh, yeah, for all your beer. Amazing. This is kind of the hub of it all, by the looks of things. Well, land pod have done really well. Massive expanders since we last saw them. <laughs> Come check this mirrored box. Oh, it looks like. It's... It's totally see-through from the inside, but from the outside, it's just, I suppose it would fit oh, into its environment. I can't fathom it. This is my spin glass. She just told me that this particular model is £120,000. Is it basically well, a mobile, ho a mobile, <laughs> a mobile home? Well, well, Shepherd's Hut on steroids is most probably how it's pitched. Yeah, I would think so. So we're at the coal bunker. I see that they've even got the, the Chesterfield. You have to have a Chesterfield. <laughs> so this is a li basically a tiny house. So they've obviously, so this is run by um, Chris, who is our glamping fires man. So obviously he's got a good wood, wood burner. I hope he's still doing glamping fires. Hi Chris, how are you? Good. Yeah, good. good. Yeah, I'm vlogging, is that all right? Oh, yeah, carry on. Yeah, oh, tell us all about it then, we'd love to know. Yes, yeah, so we developed our own coal bunker pod based on um, last year's model. So we had only this one last year. This is the basic one, the two berths with the mezzanine floor. Um, and then we looked at other options with a, a bedroom on the side. Oh, wow. And one of the bigger bedroom, bigger bathroom downstairs to occupy four people. So um, they, they can all be flat packed as well, uh, or delivered as they are. Yeah. Uh, but it's a little bust and glamping pod, really, with a, you know, a bit of a quirk to it. So yeah. It works. It's really cool. It's, yeah, it's funky, nice, isn't yeah. it? Um, basically, this is the quarter ton bunker with the mezzanine. This is 29,000 turnkey. 29,000, yeah. okay. Um, and is that pretty much as it is? As it is, yeah. yeah. What, including the wood burner? Uh, including the wood burner, you've got an Ariston back boil, electric boiler, a shower unit, kitchen units. Um, Where is the shower, by the way? Is it in the back? Yes, in the back. Isn't right? that through that door? We'll have a look in a second. Um, and then you've got the, um, the only thing that doesn't come is the soft furnishings, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, the middle pod, which is the quarter ton, that's uh, so the half ton, that comes in the 36. 36, okay. Um, Larger and then with a double bedroom and a bathroom, is thirty-nine. Do you know Chris, what it is? It's, yeah, I think it's really good value. Because that one, one hundred and twenty thousand. So no, I think you're onto a winner here, yeah, and I'd so. love to have one if we were allowed on planning. Yeah, we you can have a canvas. We're still stuck yeah. with a canvas, yeah, but if yeah. you can have wooden or this is going to last a long time. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. It's what you'd use in agriculture. Yeah. We got, it comes the ten-year guarantee on it, standard anyway. Yeah. Really? You know, realistically, it's not going to spoonproof. There's nothing going to rot. It doesn't. Okay, we're at our friends' true domes. Yeah, this is new. This kind of. So I think this is the same size dome as we've got, is it? So this one's got a skylight on the top. Oh, cool. So true domes have done this really differently for this glamping show. So they've done a big kind of scaffold yes, centre yes. with a whole kitchen net in here, and then ladder to go upstairs. Can you hold that a minute, Brian? Are you sold on this idea now? Are you? Well, I did say to put a mezzanine last time, you told me no. That's not true at all. Yeah, it is warm up here. So you've got this, and then this is over the top of the bathroom pod. So you've got like a shower, toilet. This is genius. So what's this breakfast bar? This breakfast bar, but I like how this is done. And then you've got another here. Okay. So is this the same? This so is, this is a, all just with thermal key clamps. Yeah. This is a 6.7 metre dome. I mean, I'd imagine it must be the same size as that. Yeah. Telly. Although you'd have to turn the bed around <clears throat> to be able to, to watch the telly. Yeah, it's a very good idea. You've got the wood burner. 
Oh, so this is what I wanted to look at because I was thinking about putting the wood burner in the middle, but I couldn't fathom how you'd shut the curtains, but there is quite a big gap. But then we always put a guard around <coughs> the children. Yeah. No, that is true because it sticks out quite a lot. Yes, that is a good a good feature. Which I think that's a very good idea. Yeah. And have you seen up there? Yeah, that you've got a skylight in. Yeah. I think that's also a very good idea. Although, if you were asleep up there, you'd be waking up. Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning, which yeah. you'd shove the kids up there, wouldn't you? So, yeah. whether or not that would work or not, I don't know. But yeah, it's looking really cool, True Dome's well done. I like it. Hi Kelda, how are you? Hello, this is very exciting. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, we're so impressed with what you've done with this um, dome. Like it is amazing. Um, getting the kitchen, the bathroom, sleeping four people, genius, absolute genius. Well, sleeping four people, let me show you something. <laughs> all right, all right. That's going well. You know, it's so, you've obviously spotted the mezzanine floor at the top yes. already, so you can get two people in there. Yeah. We have a double bed here as well. Yes. And then we have a breakfast <gasps> bar. I didn't spot that. Oh my goodness. Well. I did not. I did not see that. Did you? I, I need to be taking photos. This is giving me <laughs> such good ideas. <laughs> I'm all about inspiring you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Get your tools out. Yeah, well, so, yeah. Do, do we have the skills for this, Brian? I don't know if we do. Oh, I do. <laughs> it's oh, I've seen them. This is fantastic. That. This is so clever. You guys have outdone yourselves. <laughs> you really have, yeah. I mean, I, the design team take all the credit. I just get to. Um, you just get to show everybody. I just get to show everybody. Show it off like it's mine. Ah, oh, <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, because generally we try to sleep five so we can get the two adults, three children. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm well impressed. I did say about putting in a mezzanine and you were like, no, no, don't want to put that in. It can be done. I was just worried about kids trying to jump off. That was my main well, concern. They onto the bed. It's it's a, a, it's yeah, they bed. will jump. Yeah. That's what they will do. They will jump off the top and jump onto the bed. But it makes it more exciting for them. I it's see like how the adventure. dynamic works in your room. <laughs> You've got a stuffed, yeah. Do you know what else I really like? Is this hanging rail? That is also oh, that is yeah, also genius. Can we buy one of those? Uh, yes, you can. So again, this is brand new. We've literally made it for the show. Yeah. But we love it because you're obviously saving floor space, aren't you? Yeah, you can exactly. hang yeah. Yourself, but you're not taking a pen yeah. floor space, which is great. I saw um, Grove Farm Glamping. They oh, did yeah. something, didn't they? Yeah. Did they use the spare? Um, I wonder if they used the spare poles. Oh. Yes. Whether that's how they did yeah, it. Actually, I need to speak to them about. How they were they were that. very innovative with they what they were done. Very innovative, yeah. I love what they did with their kitchen and stuff as well. Yeah. yeah. We got so many of the spare poles just lying around. It's like, what yeah, we do have we... quite a few spare poles. Do you want the back? Can make a selfie frame out of them as well. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> Genius. Plenty of options for you. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad you like it. We do really like it. Thank you very much. Oh, Trudem's umbrella. Awesome. Oh, the things that get me excited. <laughs> Not that you need it today, you can use it as a parasol perhaps. Yes, but... yeah, it's lovely today, isn't it? Thank yeah. you very much. Um, you are the yeah, first lucky owners as well, though. Oh, well, there you go. Well done. It's a very coveted prize. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'll, we'll see you probably see you in half term. Well, we'll, we'll chat about that. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, see you later. Trudem's also got their dining dome, or their little, this is their smallest dome that they do. Um, so obviously you haven't really got the head height, but you can fit like a low double bed in. I think um, this would be, in my opinion, nicer than a bell tent. And also just feels <coughs> that a little bit much more robust. Yeah. So you'd rather, what, get a little tiny dome as a pop-up on instead of a bell tent? Well, I think this you'd put it up at the start of the summer. Yeah. And take it down just as like overflow sleeping or just for. Well, I had no idea actually that there was so much space in this dome because when you say it's like, it's like 4.4 meters, I think. But, yeah, it's only got a futon bed in it. And a yeah, but that's that's all we would put in a pop up belt tent, isn't it, really? Yeah, exactly. so, so I think this is actually quite a nice idea. We'll check this out, a little dining dome. So this is the same size dome as the other one we just went in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is. It's exactly the same. But this they've created for like dining events and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it is warm in here is the only thing. It like is. really warm. But um, then that one didn't feel as warm and I think it's because it's got the insulation. Yeah, exactly. Whereas this is all basically clear, isn't it? Whereas that's mainly just covered. So, a little burner there. So that's a really nice idea, putting a burner and 
all that in. Yeah, no. It's very nice. It's cool. So, shipping container, Brian, what are your thoughts? We've got a shipping container sat there, we could rent it out. <laughs> uh, this is pretty funky. Let me just zoom in quickly. So, lounge. I don't know if this converts, maybe. Um, and then you've got a little compact bathroom in here, which is very nice. Very nice. And then you've got a really good compact kitchen. Which is all like integrated. Very nice. Uh, he's just given me a, given a demo of how the bed works. So yeah, pretty funky. It's tiny. So we've got uh, Black Down Shepherd's Hut. Who are quite big Shepherd's Hut players. Um, there's a lot of people that I'll just whiz in and just see if I can show you. Oh, wood fire bar. Oh, it's like a double shepherd cup. Yeah. And you've got like a bathroom, shower, kitchen. Oh, wow, this is... Very nice. I wonder if this is what... Uh, so this double shepherd's hut, with all that, which I whizzed through, 90 to 100,000. Sorry? Yeah. 90 to 100,000? Yeah. Not joking. So this is BCT Outdoors, which are bell tents and uh, bigger yurt style bell tents. So I don't know what size this one is. And then they've got their BCT yurt, which is basically like a, a bell tent version of a yurt, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Film a bit, sorry. So this is escape pods. So the shape is pretty cool, and I like the kind of covered outdoor shade sailing bit with the hot tub. Right, there's a lot of people, sorry, but they've basically got a kitchen. And then this is a bit more open plan, so you've got open plan, bed area, and then bathroom in here. It's pretty nice. Proper good size shower in here. How much is this one? I believe that one's forty-four and a half thousand. I just overheard the chap say. So. Okay, for that one, like the, the, the one, one. That one yeah, okay. yeah. Interesting. Um, now this is pretty cool. Smuggery. Um, it's quite funky. Let's go and have a whiz inside. Let's have a little sneak in. Let's go to time link pleasure. There are two Wow, this is like a whole tiny house. So you've got your bed, you've got your nice outlook. Then you've got a seating area, teddy on the wall. And then pretty good shower room, very nice. And a kitchenette. But what I really like is out here. So they've put a whole roof terrace. No, I don't think so. Let's go up. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. So if we had something like this on our side, you would then be able to see Glastonbury Tour in the distance and Bar and Mump, and then he feel would. the energies from the ley lines. You would, but this is amazing. And yes, you get a lovely view from the show up here. You can see there's pods. There. There's a couple. Oh, there's some more barbecue domes. with loads of pods. We're literally going to run out of time. <laughs> So it's on wheels, so this basically class is a caravan and it's 55,000 which I think is pretty, I'm not going to say a bargain but it's pretty good I think. <laughs> pods are us, this must be new, I have not heard of Pods are us. Um, so another kind of pretty standard glamping pod. I'd imagine like all services and everything in it. Let's just have a quick look. Can you get on with it? So this is basically, oh, I could totally live in here. <laughs> nice double bed, telly, kitchen there, trousers, and then a little bathroom, shower. Yeah, it's nice, I like it. These ones you're talking about. 40,000. 20, yeah. 17, 20, something like that. This thing's really cool. This you like is saunas. Cool. Oh, this is a sauna? Yeah. 
Oh, wow, okay. See, saunas are popular. We've got a sauna sat in our carport. We should just get it out. <laughs> So now we come to F domes. We've got two domes here. It's just, it is definitely no. That's that's them. This is 100% F domes. So let's go and look at their smaller one first. Okay. This is a 6.3 meter dome. So this is just their kind of chat room, I think. So I've grabbed a bag. Um, not that we're going with F domes, but just for you guys to have a little look. So, Have you ever seen anything like this? No, never seen this kind of doorway. That is quite funky. Yeah, really funky. Look, they've also done, ah, they've also done a mezzanine. Ah, no, Trudeau's like have got some competition. So this looks pretty massive. Yes. It'd be interesting to know how big this one is. Yeah. Um, so they've oh, got at least five meters up. I would yeah. So they in here they managed to get a whole kitchenette. They've got a whole dining area. They've got a whole living room, which is pretty mega. The world's biggest telly that I've ever seen in a glamping structure in my life. Um, oh, there's two doors. You can go in that door, or you can go in through your glass doors. This is the bathroom pod. I think last time we pressed a bathroom pod here, it was around about 10 grand. Um, but it's very nice. And then you can have a workspace. Okay. And then you've got bedroom area around here. And I wonder if I can, am I allowed to go up? What? How thin that TV is, oh my days. <laughs> can't even, you can't even see it. The Stone Age. Yeah, it does. Can I climb in? So they've got this mezzanine level up here, um, which is pretty cool. And oh my god, I'm about to fall because I've got one hand on the camera. Um, you can see down there there's loads of space in here. This is genius. We might relay, relay this to two domes. Basically, they've got extra insulation and then it's magnetic, so you can then pop it into the centre so that then you don't have the light coming in in the middle of the like a four o'clock in the morning in the winter in the summer. Absolutely genius. That is really, really clever. How many metres across is this? Uh, it's eight metre diameter, it's 50 square metre. Eight metres across? Eight metre diameter. And five metres diameter. Four meter eighty centimeters. Right. Okay. So this is Lotus Bell, um, who are quite big in the bell tent world. So I quite like this awning. And then. It's pretty cool. In the world of bell tents, that's like a couple of grand. Oh really? Yeah. Well, it says so. Yeah, so it's three two thousand three hundred and ninety. Um, so the total bundle three grand. So this is the bell tent shop who we bought our five meter bell tent from. So this must be their five or six meter. I'm not sure. Um, I think this is a six meter. Yeah, that's a funky light that you can put around the um, yeah. hole. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how much. This is probably about six hundred pounds, I think. This is clever as well. Oh, it's a speaker. It's a speaker. It's oh, magnetic. Okay. Magnetic to the pole in the centre. So here we are in the world of safari tents. So these are clear sky safari tents. Um, they took over Albion Canvas um, and all their safari tents. Have a little look in the safari tent. Obviously it is exceedingly busy, but um, so this isn't a huge one. But basically, you've got a wood burner, a little kind of seating area, and then you've got your kitchen in here. And they've partitioned off with um, wood so that you've got actual two bedrooms. So they've got bunk beds. And and then a bathroom in the middle. That's quite a good way of doing it. So toilet sink kitchen. And then a double bed in here. So this is hilarious. So we've just been walking along and I don't even know what your names are. What's your name? Amelia. Amelia. Charlie. Charlie, hi. So they've they recognised us. Like this is madness. <laughs> and um, so they're just going to pick our brains about running a glamping site. Which, as you know, we are always happy to talk anything about glamping. We're always happy to help. So we're going to sit down, have a little chat with these guys and see if we can help them on their glamping journey. <laughs> Right, Unidome. This is something I have not seen before, but they do look pretty funky. I guess this is just like a small event space. 
think it might be, I think like for like dining and stuff. COVID pop up dining, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um, wow, look at this thing. Oh, this is the Conquer. This was on George Clark's Amazing Spaces, was wasn't it? it? Yeah, I don't it know. was. It was the Conquer, yeah. Oh, it's got too many people looking around it. We have to queue. Oh, man. I want to show you in there. Um, there's a nice yet with the sides off. Just going to quickly. So, is it? It's really cool. It's like a little bathroom in there and everything. Very funky. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a look in here. All oh, right, and then I'll. Like in here, the teepee. This is a nice teepee. It's a beautiful teepee. I like the entrance. Yeah. So this is Carpet teepees. Carter teepees. This is... I love the teepees. This is this is huge, isn't it? This one. I've just made some new friends <laughs> who've got a glamping site in France. Um, what's the name of your site? La Prairie Toilet. Ah, <laughs> yeah, so, um, the so yeah, they've got some um, Lotus Bells. So we were just having a having a glamping chat, which is quite so nice about the show because you just meet people. Um, but yes, um, I'm loving the TV. So what did we say? Eight nine nine. Eight nine nine five. I think the gentleman said. Okay. Six meters tall by eight meters wide. Oh wow! And no so wonder it feels so nice. It's got a really good usable space, obviously. Yeah. You can still get up. It does have good, yeah. And I like I the way you probably, it very much. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really yeah. nice. You'd probably be looking at 17, 18. 17, 18, okay, for the whole with the floor and all that as well, with the stove, yeah. So Brian wants to look at this, which are crossover lodge, which um, would make quite a good event space. But I don't think it is for events, I think it's actually for accommodation, which I have never seen anything like this before. Yeah, so it's got a kitchen, it's very similar to a Safari 10, it's got a bedroom, but it's all canvas by the looks of things. Wow. Um, dining area. Very cool. Oh, and then this one sleep five, that's pretty cool. Wow. Wow, and a nice, nice bathroom. Oh, these are the blow-up bubble things. There's a whole bed in there. I'm not sure how I feel about sleeping like completely like that, but cool. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. That actually. was much better than what was it two years ago that we came last. Yeah. And also, it was really nice to meet that the people that we met today and had chats with. Thank yes. you guys. That was awesome. And um, you got your True Dom's umbrella, which you're well, you, well impressed with. And um, we got a few bits of goodie bags and stuff. So um, yes, I think it was well worth it. And if you've Definitely. got any questions about any of the things you've seen, if like if I didn't give you any information about it or whatever, and you think, oh, I'd like to know more about that, then just um, message us in the comments and then I can give you the links. I've got all the information about all the different um, structures and stuff. So. Uh, so yeah, let us know what you think and if you came to the glamping show or if you're going to the glamping show, the US glamping show is happening soon, then um, let us know and hopefully we will see you again soon.